this is a 95 Ford Ranger with a four cylinder in it two wheel drive has some type of vibration in the back when you're accelerating I look and see what's going on with it I went ahead and jacked the rear of the vehicle up and set it on jack stands about a foot off the floor and the first thing I noticed is the rear hanger is eating away and the rear leaf frame plus the frames getting a little fishy and that's typical Next thing I'm noticing is grease all over the rear end cover. I don't know if it's rusted out, which is likely judging from the scale on it. That's probably lost its grease. Next thing I'm going to go for is to see if the pinion's loose. Where the drive shaft hooks onto the flange. Let's see if it moves around. It doesn't look like it's been leaking, but this thing is rough in the back forward not backward uh oh yeah, it's got a problem Yeah, the pinion bearings are loose. Well, it's time to take the cover off. If the gears aren't damaged, I'll just overhaul it. If they are, I'll have to find a whole rear end. I'm going to go ahead and take the rear end cover off. Yes. Set your drain pan underneath of it to catch the grease if any's left in this one. There's a series of 13 millimeter headed bolts holds the cover on. I'll go ahead and take those out. I'll leave the center one on top halfway in just in case the cover wants to fall off. But I think it's siliconed on, so it's probably going to be. It might put up a fight to come off. I've taken several screwdrivers and uh, weighed them in in different places lightly until it pops. Be sure not to lose your ID tag. And put it back on there when you're done. Sounds rotten. There's a piece of it right there. This one's going to cause much trouble coming loose or not. Nope. And it doesn't have any grease in it. The grease should have come running out of there. And It may be done. I'm not a fan of these red shop towels in an area like this, but this will have to come out and be cleaned off anyway, so it isn't going to matter. The gears, it's got a rough face on it. It is toast. It'll never work like that.
surfaces are normally smooth and to try to reuse those rough places it'll act like a file and just start filing metal off in the system again and trash the bearings and it'll probably make noise too there's metal packed in the gear teeth find a rear end for it from what early early look for a rear end and a little hard to find so let's find one just on a side note I usually roll the ring gear around and check that the numbers the ratio match the tag just make sure it's the right tag and rear end there's a ratio of uh, 373. That's what the tag says, 373. So it should be in business on this 7.5 373 gear. No quality track. The standard rear end. Where the four cylinder is probably going to be. So it really ate up. Picked up a used rear end, took all the bolts out of the cover and just Kind of wedged some screwdrivers real easy in the sides and got the cover off. Let's see what kind of shape the grease is in it. Looks like somebody's been in there and changed the grease. It's pretty clean. And there's no real play on the pinion. No backlash looks good. That's good. I don't see any metal particles in the bottom of it. clean inside not sure what the deal is with the brake line I just sold that off I gotta change that block this brake block and the speed sensor and takes the yoke off the u-joint where the drive shaft was cut off but it looks good I'm gonna take brake cleaner and spray this out and scrape all the old gasket material off of this and then pick any silicone out of the holes and off the end of the bolts so they don't shorten the distance up and knock a hole in, in this cast iron when you run the bolts back down have to take all the silicone off the ends of them and out of those holes with a uh, pick or screw drywall screw works great for getting all that stuff and pulling it out it looks good in there. Splatter gears look real good. The ring gear don't have any marks on it and there's no dirt in it. I'll get this cleaned up, get the cover back on it before dirt does get in it. It's kind of windy. I'm doing it outside because it's nice out. Let's take you some newspaper or rags, just slint free plastic or whatever, and stuff it over the carrier with the gear on it to keep the silicone you got to scrape off the housing from falling in there take some brake cleaner and clean this cover out it's going to have some old haze on it from the grease residue Degrease this flange before I hit it with a drill brush and get the grease out of the holes and the black silicone or whatever's in the holes out of it.
check your cover for any deformations so that uh, flange is flat and for any rust hole scabs this one's just a little bit scabbed up you can scrape all that off and paint it if you want make sure there's no little rust scabs inside if it is you'll need a new cover any little imperfection of rust in, in the side of this is it's done you'll be putting another rear end in after it goes through it I've got that all cleaned up now it's got to clean this face off get all them pieces out of the holes Take a scraper or something and scrape all the old silicone off. Make sure none gets inside the housing. If it does, pick it out of there. You don't want any any particles other than the grease in it. Clean and degrease all your bolts and pick any excess silicone, especially off off the end of it. Cause it'll bottom out and smash that silicone against the can bottom out and smash that silicone against the end of the housing and blow it out. Both of these surfaces are degreased. And I washed the bolt holes out with spray cleaner and took an air hose and blowed uh, any debris and loose wet material out. So the holes are dry, the bolts are dry. These surfaces are degreased and there's no rust holes in the cover. Not yet. I need to put a bead of silicone around this face or that face, it don't matter. I'm going to be using right stuff, but black silicone is the second choice. You usually have a gear ratio and the rear end will have a tag on it to help you identify it. bead of silicone's on there about five sixteenths of an inch deep you just really got under ten minutes preferably about five minutes after you put it on there to set the cover on there and start snugging it down evenly in a crisscross pattern I'll be putting the very center top bolt in it sticking through the cover as I approach it and line it up and then Put the bottom one in it and put the rest of them in it. Make sure there's no particles on it, any of the working parts in there from paper towel or rag or lint, whatever. Should be perfectly clean. And throw the lid on it like that. I tend to put a little, just a little bit extra wider silicone on the bottom. This half line is the most critical to be absolutely clean and sealed up so the grease don't leak out of it. Tighten all the bolts down evenly so that the silicone will spread out both outside and inside the cover to help provide an extra layer of protection for sealing the inside. Should see a good bead all the way around it to the outside. Three, the three, seven, three, the 7.5 ring gear. Three, seven, three ratio. Looks good enough. Now the next thing to do is loosen up this fill plug in the front of the differential. After the silicone sets for 15-20 minutes will be fine or half hour, hour will be better. Clean your threads off around it. The opening.
it just takes a 3 8 extension on the ratchet turn the square hole Clean your, this has a magnet on it, and if it has any debris on it, wipe it off. And put your five pints of 90 weight high point grease in it. Scrape your drive shaft flange off. Make sure it's flat as possible where it mounts. See the impression of the old one. Just make sure it's not get any rust sticking up on these mounts holes I've stripped most of the stuff off the rear end that I want to I can do the wheel cylinders and the emergency brake cables while it's on the truck it's pre-filled with 90 weight high point grease and the old Brake hose and lines are removed. The speed sensor wiring's off of it. Clean the flange on the dry shaft mounting surface. And that, those there don't matter too much. 